let's do the first of positive videos I'm going to start putting on YouTube. We're going to go back down memory lane. I had a Sunday school teacher when I was four, five years old. That's six and seven by my most memorable times going to Sunday school. Miss Joyce, we called her. I called her. I'd be amused that uh, her daughter, I'm not going to say, say her name, always called her mom, but the rest of us called her Miss Joyce. I remember I was painting. I love painting, but I was a naughty kid. When I wanted to play with the toys, and she would. Uh, had other things she wanted us to do. One time I threw a wooden block through the window. Daddy took me out and told me I was afraid. I th he didn't spank me. I was thankful for that. He, if you do one more thing in that Sunday school, I'm going to blister your hind end, something like that. So I went back in and behaved. One time I wanted to paint. Miss Marshburn was mixing the paints. I wanted to paint now. So I tried to grab the paint from her as she was mixing it, and it spilled all over the floor. The blue paint. Oh, Chris, look what you did. Nevertheless, Miss Joyce never once got mad at me. Never once. Of course, she would tell my mom and dad what I did, like when I threw that block through the window, of course, that's obvious. But mom would tell me, she said she thought I was a genius. I could draw those butterflies. But I remember her teaching. When it, after the fun and games, when it was time for the Sunday school lesson, she would say, now, let's everybody get together in God's circle. And we would, teacher included, all pull our chairs into a circle. And she would teach us. I can still see it in my mind when Miss George would be teaching about the disciples or the Bible lessons I automatically I started picturing the events and people at where I lived happening at where, where I lived 1410 Farnet Road in my yard <laughs> at, inside my house she, she would say there were and they went into the house and I imagined them being in my house. Once, once she said it, they took flour and water and made bread. And I, I'm like, duh. Can you make bread by just mixing flour and water? I found myself asking. I had to try it one time. Some of the things I remember her saying, and those showers came and washed those people away. Evident and talk about Noah's Ark, the weak, the wicked people. Now, now that, now we should teach about one of the heroes of the Bible. She just like say something. Always said, now David was a very kind man. I remember her t talking about teaching us about mission and robbers, and I thought. I saw a picture and I thought a robber was a kind of monster. I didn't know a robber was a human being like you and me. Talking about King David, I think, killing the lion, or somebody killing the lion. One time she was giving us an illustration. She was talking about David. I thought it was the David of the Bible, but I, apparently not. Probably not. But she's like, and David reached for that orange. He couldn't get it. He reached for that orange and get, did not quit until he finally got that orange. Such, I had such high, This is the Emmanuel Baptist Church. It is not on Old Snow Hill Road. Well, I saw her not too long ago. Her health sucks. She's wheelchair bound. I can, I can sympathize with that because my health sucks. But we taught, we had a grand on time. Remember, she's like, you got a good memory. And later, 
I saw where mom had wrote that she called and told my mom to tell me that she loved me. Man, such wonderful memory. Thank you. I still call her Miss Joyce to this day. <laughs> oh, old habits. I had some uh, some very happy memories back at me in the Baptist Church. I remember having a little crush on Lori Heath because I saw her and her friends one night at church. They're uh, all miffed, upset, talking about some. I ain't gonna Lori. I remember Lori Heath saying, "I ain't going to meet. I ain't going to meet him at no dairy bar." Later on, or we we'll find out years later that the preacher would not allow them to have a dance at the church, and they were very <laughs> unhappy about that. Seth, well, that's all I can say. I feel this is the video is crap, but at least I try to be positive. Now, Miss Joyce's daughter was firstly the only person. When I started going to Continue Elementary School, who would be nice to me, who would not make fun of me, when all the other students, most of all the other students teased me, made fun of me. Miss Joyce's daughter was always kind to me.